Welcome back, everybody. I'm the old man. And we just defeated Lich. Which is good times. Good times. That means that we do not have to worry about that dungeon anymore. And the next... The, now, the next thing we get to do is leave Melman behind for good, thank goodness, and head to Crescent Lake. And the next section of the game. What in the world am I doing? And the next section of the game. Oh, really? You know what? If it's a preemptive strike, we'll just go ahead. Bye, y'all. <laughs> See you later, spiders. Really? Who was that? Who did that, sadly? Me? You couldn't take out spiders with electricity any better than that. Tighten up, buddy. Um, and then we're going to get our canoe, and then we're going to do some... Uh, let's go to the inn. Actually, we don't really need to go to the inn, do we? Nah. We're good. We don't need to go there. Uh, what we're going to do is do some sequence breaking after we get our canoe. I wonder. I, I hope we'll get to do that in this video, because that'll be fun. And that will also, not only, it will help us in the ice cave, because that's our next big hurdle that we need to get through in terms of... Um, you know what? We'll just fight this battle. It's fine. The ice cave is our next big dungeon hurdle that we'll have to get through without a lot of help. We'll have a little bit more help than the other dungeons in terms of gear, but um, yeah, so we're going to we're going to do that. Ice cave will be next video. Though. This video is going to be probably the Castle, the well, Castle of Ordeals is what it was called in the Nintendo, but I think they call it the Citadel of Trials in this version. <laughs> Master Jeff, level up. Awesome. Y'all level ups kind of suck, though. Just saying. Y'all could do a better job leveling. I think there's some gear. We might spend a little bit of time grinding or farming for stuff because we're going to need... I think there's some gear here, but we'll see. We'll see when I get there. This is a long journey towards Crescent Lake. Very, very long journey. You know what? Let's have you do this because you can clear them out. With them. Did he miss fleeing? That's weird. You'd think that wouldn't be a thing. It is. Sowing. I was going to say sowing the seeds of love because I was thinking sailing the seas, but I can't think of a song right now that's about sailing. Sailing! That's not true. I did just think of one. Something, something, something. Sailing! <laughs> That's all the words I know of that song. And I guess I'm just fighting these little battles to just kind of pick out some gold and, or gill. Gold gills. And maybe a little bit of experience too. Since these battles are so easy to fight. Because any levels we get will be helpful. That's where we're going to get our airship when it's time. There's Thundara. I think there's Thundaga here, too. Which we're gonna so we are going to need a lot of money, but there's a lot of money in the Citadel. So we might just do that and worry about gear after that. Because we've got Firaga. So we'll be able to do... Oh, I should have saved. Oh, oh, these just trolls were good. can Firaga these flee. Whatever. Ouch. I suppose that was a waste of Firaga on that one troll. 
Oops. You've got a level up, though. Oh, no. Order. Order. Neef's gonna go in the front line for that. Oh, I need to save. I'm so glad we're done with the Earth Cave, y'all. You don't even know. You don't even know how happy I am that we're done with the Earth Cave. Ew, what is this encounter? What is this nonsense? This is gonna be Poison City if y'all don't run away. I hate the scorpions. Not the band, necessarily, but those. The band's alright. Rock you like a hurricane, that's a fine that's, that's an alright song. Not a huge Scorpions fan, never was. And I, Winds of Change, when that came out, just kind of like, eh. Not a huge fan. Uh, let's go to the inn. I believe this is probably the fanciest inn we've been in. There is, like, full-service breakfast at this one, even though it's kind of small. Thank you. And there's an item shop here, too. What's in here? Is there anything useful for my dudes? Uh, Mithril Mail. Okay, that's good. Shield. Buckler for everybody. Probably will want to give them those just for evasion's sake. And what's over here? I don't think weapon. I don't think we care about any of the weapons in here. Mithril Sword. Eh. Eh. I think I'd rather have some defensive gear than I would anything else. And Thundaga. That's really all we're going to want there. And they can't use any of that anyway, so... Looks like it's going to be gear. We're going to buy some gear from that store. And I think he's got our... Oh, no. Somebody's got our canoe. There it is. Canoe. I don't know where he's keeping it. How he got it under his robe. And I like how he's just like, when they walk up to him, like, it's got to be there, right? So they're like, so he's just sitting there with that canoe the entire time. Waiting for us to show up. All right, let's buy these bucklers. Three of them. And then I don't have enough. Thanks. You're welcome. Because y'all can use all the whatever you can get. And is there anything I need to sell? I can sell these clothes and this leather armor because I don't need that anymore. Oh, I can sell that great axe, and I can throw helm, and then that will give me enough to buy mithril mail. Thank you, you're welcome, for who doesn't have it? <laughs> Poor Jeff's been running around with this chain, <laughs> chain mail since the beginning of the game. Poor guy. Well, we got you some better, we got you some better armor now, buddy. Listen to that music. That's so good. Oh my gosh. Alright, now on to our... Oh crap. Oh good. River monsters are terrible. Um, they're awful and hard to beat. Like, they hit hard and they hit hard for quite a while. And so if you can possibly avoid river monsters, it's definitely worth your while to do that. Okay, so... Really? We can fight these guys, right? Yeah, we can. Ding! And that's why we have shields. <laughs> so, oh. I think that's evasion. I think they're... Oh, really? I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, it was good. We avoided the ship there. Got a potion. How is the quickest way over there? Yes, it's gonna be over here. Oh uh, yeah, I don't really want to do this. 
So what we're doing is we're going to go to the Citadel Trials first. The game wants you to go to the volcano and fight the, the fire fiend. But we don't want to do that because the volcano is a terrible, terrible dungeon that is long and has a bunch of hard monsters in it and the treasure is all garbage. So we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is do a little sequence. We're going to go to the Citadel of Trials and we're going to clear that out if we can and get some of the good gear in there. And then we're going to take that gear to the Ice King, get our Levitation Stone or Floater or Levistone or whatever they call it in this version. And then go get our airship, then we're going to do the rest of the game, pretty much, and then come back and do the volcano. The very, like, last thing before we beat the game is going to be... Before the last dungeon in the game is going to be that, uh, that volcano. Because there's literally no reason to do it now. Oh, that's a, that was a solid hit there, Pastor Jeff. That boy, hit him! Sea monsters never really like they don't there's there's no they don't get any better or any worse. They just kind of it's the same stable of sea monsters throughout the whole game. So no matter where you are going or what you're doing, you're gonna run into those sea monsters. Which is fine, because you do so much sea travel in the beginning of the game, I don't think you really want to. And the items that we're going to get in this game... Oh, she finally somebody broke 200. And that is why we skip... Because you can dock at... What am I saying? There we go. Um, you can dock at Rivers with the canoe. And so since that's there, you can do that. And then you don't have to do what the game wants you to do. You can do what you want. Now, the... The... I'm saving again because the monsters in this section are really hard. Like, and really the monsters in the other section are hard as well. Um, we just, you know, the, in this, well, the monsters in the, this area and then in the Citadel are hard. So, a little sleeping bag up, much to Althlis's chagrin. He's the one that's all the way over and his he's turned back facing the rest of them. All right. We did have the crown. And see, this is a funny thing because I don't know if you could even get here with the crown, like without the crown. I don't even know if you could do that. Maybe you could. No, because you got to get the key to get the... Yeah, anyway. So there's some pretty there can be some pretty tough encounters in this castle. I'm hoping that we don't run into a lot of them. And the secret to these teleporters is always go to the southernmost one. And we don't want to mess with these. That's why. <laughs> That's why right there. Ow! Okay. Jeez, the leads. Neef, Neef's gonna Neef's gonna take a turn in the back, I think. After we give him some potions. I'll put Megan in the front there, since she's got 200 HP like a boss. This is also a very short dungeon, which is another reason why it's good to do a sequence break with, because it's not a huge, arduous dungeon like the other ones. It is, you know, just a dungeon, which is nice. So here, we want to go in here. Horned Devil. No, thank you. Oh, yuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Phew. That was not good. A little worried there. <laughs> a little bit worried. And this is going to have uh, some monsters in it. This would normally be a spiked square, but 
because... Oh, okay, maybe not. That was just a potion. Should I try to fight him? Eh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Y'all can... Okay, so maybe that wasn't the best idea. <laughs> okay, that was fine. Uh, yeah, that's not right. Right. Yep. Sure. Whatever. Yep. Because there's our thing. Okay. Good. Let's potion you up. Drop a quick save in here, and go get us some treasure. Oh yuck! I'm glad I dro dropped that save there. Oh my gosh. They have hold. I didn't know they had hold. I'm glad they're just doing fire. Dang it, Megan. Now, as you step into this room, yep, there's a... There's a nightmare... A couple of nightmares in here. So, I think it's funny that that's just a... That that is basically a... A static fight there that they put in instead of it being a spike square because there's no spike squares anymore. Well, Zara, these nightmares, guys, because we are not in the mood for this sort of nonsense. Excellent, very good. And then this is oh, it's a healing staff. I thought there's gonna be a monster in there, and there wasn't. Uh, items. So the healing staff gives us free cura. That's for the rest of the game. Oh, yeah. No, we don't want to do this yet. It's free cura for the rest of the game. So healing is going to be fine now. The uh, armlet, ice brand, steel gloves. Quick, can anyone use the ice brand? Yes. And we're going to give it to Pastor Jeff. And the Ruby Armlet. We're going to give that to him. Are we sure? Should we give that to... Yeah, let's give it to Alphalus, because he needs more. Can anybody use the... Steel, whatever. I can. Okay. So, yeah. So that healing staff is really good and I can anybody can use it in the original version what would happen is you would only have each character could car carry four weapons and four pieces of armor so and if they did that then only those people could use that particular ooh, lots of gear, lots of gear, cottage and monsters thing it Zara, you will do healing staff, and you will do rock. So, how that would work is... Ooh, no, that's not good. Um, you would have to be careful who you gave what to, because other people didn't have access to it. In this one, everybody has access to all the items at any time. Also, we've got that working intelligence statistic that makes things a little bit easier. So, um, let's see. Since magic didn't do jack, uh, I guess we're just gonna attack. And you are going to use the healing stuff. And hopefully, okay, that was good. That was just fine. Well done. And Gauntlets. Gauntlets is free Fundara forever. So that's also very nice. Where's my Andos? There they are. And we're not going to equip them on anybody because we want everybody to be able to use them. And over here is... Let's quick save. So did they... Rat tail. Okay, so in the NES version, 
the there was a spike square right in front of the chest with the rat tail. But I guess this is the boss encounter, which is fine because these zombie dragons are weak to fire. So we are going to fire them. And apparently they hit really hard. <laughs> they hit really hard. But I don't think they have any spells or anything. Not to my knowledge. They don't have any like special abilities that they just jack us up or stuff. Excellent. This this was an excellent run of the Citadel. I couldn't have asked for better. We got a ton of stuff. And it'll we're saving. And next time we'll we'll have to make a trip back to Crescent Lake. And then we will um do the ice cave. So I'll see you then.